Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Drew here back again with another video for all you American soccer fans out there. And in this video, we're going to talk about the MLS logo, the change of the logo, and why, well, first of all, why it changed, and if that change actually helped improve the league in a positive way. But of course, as always, if you guys love soccer and you want to see it get the respect and growth it deserves in this country, and you want to be part of that change, then subscribe down below, and also be part of the Road to 1K squad, because we're, we're almost there. Alright, let's do it. Let's talk about it. Why the heck did MLS change its logo in the first place? And where did this idea even come about? Well, it all started back in 2013 for the first game of the CONCACAF Gold Cup between the U.S. and Belize in Portland, uh, in Portland, Oregon. And this whole thing came about because the Timbers, Army, and American Outlaws all unveiled this huge banner, like a series of banners that stated community, club, and country. So that was the big thing, okay? That, that... Those those banners and everything, and by the way, you can see those banners be unveiled. Uh, and I'll leave a link for the video down below in the description box. But anyway, those those banners caught the attention of Howard Handler, was like the marketer marketer executive or something for MLS, and he was like, oh wow, they really they really opened our eyes. We got an epiphany, and we want we want to change the league, blah blah blah. So ever since that, they got an idea to change uh, the crest, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. So that was basically it. That's the, w the way they got kind of got the idea from. Um, I'm pretty sure they already had this idea of changing the logo, um, like in, in like in behind the scenes they already planned to do this, but they just like wanted more, uh, like basically more support from the community or whatever. So they they thought seeing that banner fly up, they're like, you know what, they want to change the logo. <laughs> So then in 2015, MLS ditched the original logo that's been with them since the beginning of the league in 1996. And on the 20th season, 20th anniversary of the MLS league, they unveiled the new MLS crest. This was all around the same time where, we, where the league was signing players like Clint Dempsey, Michael Bradley, New York City FC and Orlando City were about to debut for their first inaugural season in the MLS. And the USA just came off a pretty decent World Cup run where we got knocked out and belt by Belgium in the 2014 World Cup. So, you know, American soccer was kind of on the rise. It was kind of, you know, it, it was it was growing in popularity as usually as it usually does after every World Cup. So they were like, you know what, let's take initiative. Let's let's take this um this whole running theme that's going on right now. Let's just it let's change everything well not everything, but let's change the logo and and, and just grow with everything that's growing right now. And now we got this logo. Well, now it's not a logo. It's technically the MLS crest. So now they actually broke down what this crest means um, in case you guys wanted to know how they designed it, what the, all these designs mean. So guess what? Your boy Drew's going to go uh, go over that real quick. But first, I need to bring up my little notepad here. Okay, ready? So I'm going to put the, the crest here on the screen. You guys can follow along um, the things I'm describing about the crest. <laughs> so here we go. According to Howard Handler, the spare, the spare design is called the MLS Crest. Beautiful. It comes in the colors of the USA and Canada because, you know, we, USA and Canada both have teams who play in the MLS. Cool, got it. Makes sense. Uh, and it also features three stars at the top that represent the ideals displayed by the Portland, Portland TIFO community, club, and country. So community, club, and country translates into three stars. <laughs> Cool. And then also that diagonal line that goes up captures the fast-paced nature of the game and the league that's on the rise and emerges from the bottom of the shield to the top to create a little bit of extra energy. So that's it. That's that's the whole explanation of the of the whole MLS crest. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just feel like I feel like they're just they're talking out of their ass right now. Or like back then it was like it was in 2015 when they said this, but I feel like they were just talking out of their ass back then because I feel like they just created this cool logo. I mean, it looks cool. Not not gonna lie, a cool design. You're like, all right, well, we need a background or a story about this. So guess what? Red and white because MLS. I mean, because Canada and USA both have red and white in their flags. Three stars because um, well, we never won World Cup. So what are we gonna use the three stars for? Oh yeah, Portland. Remember? Thank you, Portland. Community, club, and country. So they're probably like, you know what? We have this design already in mind. We just need an explanation for the three stars. Then Portland came in, not knowing what they were had, like what they were thinking, and they're like, yes. Community, club, and country. Because you think the MLS execs cared about the community and the club? I mean, they care about the clubs and country, but I'm not the community, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just felt like it was like they were just talking out of their ass, like I said before, explaining stupid things, like the diagonal line. Like, really, it's the line I just thought it was just like for decoration, just to make it look like an actual shield or, or whatever. But I guess every little detail has an explanation. So now let's get on to my second question. 
did this change of logo actually help improve the league and did it actually help the league grow to where it is today well i'd say no i mean i i in my opinion i think the logo had nothing to do with the growth the league has is, is experiencing right now i feel like the you know successful world cups that we've had in 2014 not 2018 um but you know even like friendly matches that you will say the usa men's national team wins is also a big key factor and also can't forget the ladies the u.s women's national team you know the world cup win the success of how good they are you know the, the olympics for both men's and women's and by the way when the u.s women's national team uh starts to play this summer for the world cup you best believe your boy Drew's gonna cover some of that. I'll be covering the news, big, big score lines. I mean, give me, giving you guys predictions. If you guys want to see my predictions, I'll totally do that. I mean, the group stages just came out a couple of days ago, but I was hesitant to make a, a group stage prediction for you guys. But if you do, I'll totally put that out for y'all. So anyway, all those factors are already helping the league grow as it is. And another thing that really helps the league that I feel like a lot of people uh, miss with miss or, or like forget about is the FIFA. The FIFA game, like I feel like a lot of Americans buy FIFA 18, FIFA 19, whatever FIFA is out right now. I feel like a lot of Americans buy it. And I'm pretty sure there's statistics out there that state that like USA is either number one or number two in terms of a sales or FIFA games. So if you mix all that stuff together in a big pot, obviously you're going to get a, a, a league that's going to grow here in America. So I feel like if we still had that old logo with a dude kicking the soccer ball, um, I feel like it's, it'd still be the same. And I feel like having that logo, the dude kicking the soccer ball, is that it was more Americanized. Like, you can tell, like, it was an Americanized logo. You can tell it was an American league. Because if you look at the other top three leagues in America, other sports league in America, you see you see the NFL. It's got a football in it. You see the MLB. It's got a dude hitting a baseball. And you see, of course, NBA, a dude dribbling a basketball. So, like, all these people, all these leagues have, like, the sport right there on the logo but for this mls crest you if you just saw like randomly like if you're not a fan of soccer or don't know anything about mls or soccer and you just saw this logo you wouldn't think hey that uh, that's a soccer league for american soccer or just just a, a soccer thing or that's just a sports league you wouldn't even think it's like a sports thing i mean that, and i'm not i'm not trying to hate i mean i think the logo is pretty cool but i think it could have been a little more direct about what kind of uh, sport they're talking about here and what, and what kind of league but maybe it's just my American in me, so don't hate me. <laughs> I know this is a video topic about something that's happened already four or five years ago, but it's always kind of been on the back of my mind. Like, I always kind of wanted to talk about this because the change of logo always rubbed me the wrong way. And now that, that I read that the way they explain the MLS crest, the whole story behind it, like, I just think it's a whole bunch of, a, a whole bunch of shit. But, you know, I, I just... You know, either way, I just wanted to talk about it. I hope you guys liked it. And as always, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you guys think the logo looks cool? And do you guys uh, think the logo helped improve the league for the better? Let me know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for kicking with me, and I'll see you later.